So guys, today we are going to be talking about a simple modification you can make to boonie hats and all types of brimmed hats like these and to make them stiff and rigid. Oftentimes these hats are very floppy and they even have the name, the nickname of a floppy hat because without this modification, this brim is not reinforced at all and it kind of just flops all over the place. And not only does that make you look like a homeless person who does not know what they're talking about, but it also helps catch wind and can kind of pull the hat off in more windy situations. So having a brim like this helps, or having a stiffened brim like this helps keep the hat down. And that's what this modification video is going to be about today. So before we get into this really quick mod that's really simple, uh, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to see more awesome videos like this. Here's the basics to what you'll need for this modification. Once again, it is pretty easy, but the first thing you'll need is an unmodified hat, and I quickly demodified this hat because it wasn't quite done right when I originally did it long ago, but <coughs> I'm gonna do it right this time. So as you guys can see, this is what a floppy hat looks like without any modification. You can see it's very bendable. There's absolutely no strength or rigidity to this brim. And so you can see that that will result in this hat looking really not so good. So the first thing you need to keep in mind and look for is the fact that with most of these hats, the way they're made is that this brim is actually completely hollow and that there's an entrance way into this brim area in the back of the hat. You guys will notice this is the back of the hat here. And so you want to look toward the back of a hat, especially this is the same on all military issued ones, but you'll basically want to look for this entrance way. Then what you'll want, want is some type of hard metal or steel, it can be aluminum, but it has to be a bendable type of just wire basically. And this stuff here is like a black oxide finished metal. Uh, you want to keep in mind that you generally want something rust proof because if not then you'll get like rust color on the, uh, the very brim of the hat which I suppose doesn't really matter but it's just something to factor into whether or not you want that on your hat. So then you'll basically just spool out a bunch of it and <coughs> basically spool out a handful of feet here around three feet and pretty much just start threading it in and that's the actual tricky part so now to that So guys, now you can see after about five minutes of working this, I'm right here at the end. This is the only spot where it bends easily. As you can see, it doesn't bend so easily there. And the important thing, when I was first doing this, I was still pretty amateur when I made, uh, or when I did this modification to this one, uh, or the first time around. And so the thing you wanna do most importantly is a couple things with these, uh, when you're doing the brims, and that is make sure that 
with this kind of tubing trim here, it actually interconnects back up with itself. So in order to not have any weird discrepancies in the back of the hat, what you need to make sure is make sure that the wires are overlapping each other. And so like I said, uh, the first time I did this modification to this hat, I actually messed that up. And it was a little bit funky looking because the wires were not overlapping. <coughs> so, it's very important to make sure that the wires are in fact overlapping. So that's the first uh, kind of thing that I took away originally messing up on this one. And now I can feel that back here both layers are crossed and you want them to be not just barely crossed but you want them to have a pretty good double crossed. Now you don't need to double cross the entire thing with wire. You just want to make sure that the back of this is in fact <coughs> Um, definitely double crossed so then what I like to do is I like to run a little bit of cord in there or a little bit of this uh, extra in here and then what I like to do is just slightly pull it out just where you can begin to see how I'm making the hat kind of crinkle up like this so if you guys can see that and so what I like to do is I like to pull it out just so I see a little bit of the hat crinkle and to make sure that I get this cut right and so that this cut piece actually sits under the hat what I'll do is then I'll pretty much go in here really close to the end of it and snip it off and then what will happen is then once I pull the hat brim back out that kind of takes that cut piece back under the hat so that it looks <coughs> so that it looks just a little bit more professional and you don't have any weird discrepancies on the back of the hat or any weird pieces of metal sticking out and like I said because this is double backed there's no weird looseness or floppiness this brim is completely stiff now what I like about this modification <coughs> Now what I like about this modification most of all is the fact that if you do select a bendable piece of metal in here you can still flop your hat down if you really need to. If you need to bend this thing to get it to fit in a certain area you can still fold your hat down like this or even further down and actually it's kind of nice because a normal floppy hat it'll actually kind of want to bend back out but you can see that the nice part about having a floppy hat is the fact that you can bend them any way you need to and so you still have the really nice ability to bend your hat as you need it to be bent and uh, also though it still has the rigidity <coughs> of a brimmed hat so I will say if you do bend it down like shown you may have to kind of work it back out but it is workable and so it's not something I do every day but once again what I like is you keep that rigidity of having a brim hat, but also you keep the flexibility of having a floppy hat. So, these guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that nice, very quick and easy mod and how to make your floppy hats not so floppy anymore and how to add a level of rigidity to your hat so that if wind hits your hat, or if rain hits the top of your hat, what it does is it adds a stiffness level to this hat that it'll just roll off or that the wind can hit, but it's not going to be able to actually get up under the hat and take the hat off your head. And these are things that I've learned from experience and using a stiffened brim versus a non-stiffened brim. And I definitely notice and appreciate having the harder brim. Anyways guys, that's the basic mod and there's really not much more to it. Uh, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.